U.S. stock index futures continuing to extend their gains this Tuesday afternoon right here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. This after the Chinese Central Bank announced plans early this morning to cut its one-year lending rate to 4.6 percent. This in which the People's Bank of China said will provide long-term liquidity and also help support the Chinese economy. In addition, on the housing front, there was a ton of data already. The K. Schiller Home Price Index for June showed that home prices rose less than expected. At the same time, new wholesale figures for the month of July came in at an annual rate of 507,000. And there was also the Conference Board's Consumer Confidence Read for August that came in at 101.5. Shifting focus now over to the Forex markets this afternoon. The U.S. dollar remaining strongly bullish against its counterparts. We first take a look at the euro to U.S. dollar pair 1.53 percent lower at a read of 114.05. The British pound to U.S. dollar pair this afternoon 0.33 percent lower at a read of 157.03. And we also have the U.S. dollar Japanese yen pair 1.04 percent higher reading at 119.90 yen. Trading Central Analyst this afternoon remaining focus on the New Zealand dollar U.S. dollar pair as it remains under pressure below the resistance at 0.6555. Short positions below the resistance at 0.6555 are favored with targets at 0.6475 and 0.6425 in extension. Moving on now to precious metals. They continue to remain under pressure this Tuesday afternoon. We first take a look at gold, which is in focus as gold has hit two targets at 1142 as well as 1137 while still remaining under pressure. Short positions below 1153 are favored with down targets at 1132 and 1127 in extension. And we conclude with silver prices 0.7 percent lower 14.69 a troy ounce and don't forget to follow trading central on twitter at trading central for all of your forex market updates and for trading central web tv from the floor of the new york stock exchange on a volatile tuesday afternoon i'm james swinney